Astros back and the Giants are in L.A. to take on the Dodgers in game two of the series from Dodger Stadium. Giants opening week is brought to you by Provident Credit Union Super Reward Checking. We pay you. Tonight it's another rivalry game. Giants Dodgers. Yes indeed. Hi again everybody. I'm Dwayne Kuyper along with Mike Kruko. We are in San Francisco. We're in our comfortable booths at Oracle Park. Giants and Dodgers of course in Los Angeles. Can't wait. Mike. Uh, a last-minute decision. Uh, th this was a, a start maybe we thought for Jeff Samarja, but it's not going to be Jeff Samarja. Well, late in the afternoon, the Giants announced that Tyler Anderson was going to be on the hill tonight, making start in Game 2 of this season. The uh, left-handed veteran, who many will remember when he was with the Rockies, will make his first start as a Giant. If you look at what he has done in five starts in Los Angeles, career-wise, he's done well. He's 1-1, but his ERA is 3.25 in 27 innings. That's dealing for a lefty in that ballpark. His opponent, Ross Stripling, a big right-hander with a high release and a great big curveball. So the message after last night's ball game from Gabe Kapler, tighten it up, boys. We need to play better, and that will be their goal tonight. <laughs> and need to play better against this really, really talented Dodger team. All right, should be fun. Glad you're with us. Stay tuned. We'll take you to our NBC Sports Bay Area studios for an update, and we'll do that right after this. Series, let's take a look at Gabe Kapler's lineup, and it'll be Mike Yastrzemski to lead things off. He had a couple of hits last night, then Flores, Sandoval, Dickerson. Joe McCarthy gets his second big league start, and uh, he's in left field, followed by Dubon Crawford. Jalen Davis to start tonight, and catching will be Rob Brantley. On the hill tonight for the Dodgers will be the right-hander, Ross Stripling. He's 6'3", 220 pounders, 30 years of age, in his fourth year at the big league level. You look at the numbers he had last year, 4-4 four four with a 3-4-7 ERA, over a strikeout in an inning with just 20 walks against 93 strikeouts. And many consider one of the better uh, swing men in the game. He could pitch out of the bullpen. He could give you a start. He would prefer to be a starter. You take your bats against, you're going to see a low to mid-90s fastball with a big over-the-top curveball. He'll also cut the fastball. He'll two-seam it, and he has a changeup. Let's take a look at the Dodgers defensively playing behind Stripling. Starting in the outfield from left to right, it's going to be Taylor, Bellinger, and Betts, the best arm in center field, and it's very good. Seager, Turner, they're on the left side of the infield. Hernandez and Muncy on the right side. Will Smith, he'll be in the squad putting down the signs. And one of the Dodgers lineup, Dave Roberts, Mookie Betts in the leadoff spot against the lefty, then Muncie, Turner, and Bellinger. Kike Hernandez got to be leading the league in hitting, I would think. Four for five last night with a home run. Seager, Taylor, Peterson, the DH, and catching is Will Smith. On the hill tonight for the Giants will be Tyler Anderson. Anderson, 30 years of age, in his fifth year at the big league level. This is what he has done in his career, 18 to 24 with a 4.69 ERA. About eight and a half strikeouts per inning with a three to one strikeout walk ratio. Take your pass against him. You're going to see a fastball that's right around 90 with a little sink to it. He'll also cut it. He's got a curveball slider and a great changeup. Lifetime against the Dodgers, three and five with a 4.54 ERA, but has always pitched well in this ballpark. Mookie Betts swings at the first pitch. Oh, man. Starting in the outfield from left to right, it's going to be McCarthy, Yastrzemski, and Davis, the best arm in right field with Jalen Davis. Crawford and Flores, they'll patrol the left side of the infield. Dubon and Sandoval will be on the right side. Rob Brantley, he'll be in the squad, putting down the signs. 